Hey guys and welcome. Don't mind if I do. There he is. Get in here, big boy. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. A twinge of cringe. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. And today we're doing sales training. We're gonna learn how to sail so freaking good. We're gonna weigh anchors. We're gonna hoist things. We're gonna poop on so many decks. I'm just kidding. What we're actually doing today is way more fun than that. We're gonna learn how to sell things to people who probably don't wanna be sold to. Heck yeah. And who better to teach us than the number one salesman in the world, Andy Elliott. Andy is a world-renowned salesman who found a bunch of success in sales and now has courses so he can pass along his knowledge in the industry. On TikTok, he posts a lot of clips from his seminar, which is called The Master Closer. And that is referring to closing deals, not someone who gets off by leaving the room. What are you doing? A master closing. Ew, dude, close the door at least. If you insist. Or wait, don't, but that's not what I- Andy is kind of an interesting instructor though because he seems to take what he's teaching very seriously. Like life or death, seriously. If someone right now, I'm just giving you an example, kidnapped your family and said they were gonna kill them unless you tripled production or revenue in your company, mm. you can do it in a heartbeat. Why someone gotta kidnap them? Why does that even gotta happen? It doesn't gotta happen, Andy. No one said you have to do that. And how is my family being in a traumatic situation helping me make a sale? I'm just gonna be more stressed. And if you sign the papers today, we'll throw in 12 months of Sirius XM. That's okay, uh, who are they? Oh, this is my husband, Ryan, and our two kids, Leslie and Morley, and that is their armed kidnapper. Are they okay? They will be if you buy this 2012 Ford Fusion with great reliability and resale value. Mommy, I'm scared. Mommy's working. But but if you want a really great deal, you should check out today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Tomb Blast. Tomb Blast is a free to play mobile game that you can download on all devices and level up by solving puzzles and blasting cubes. And once it's downloaded, you don't even need Wi-Fi to play. You can play it anytime, anywhere. You can play it with a mouse. You can play it in a house. You probably will play it in a house. It's also very easy to play. So within a few seconds, you can be zooming through levels. There's not even any ads to interrupt your playtime, So you can zoom right through those bad boys. Since there's really no learning curve, the game is super easy to pick up. Not as easy to put back down though. That might be why they have millions of reviews on the App Store and Google Play. There's over 7,000 levels to unlock and explore. You can even compete against other players or play challenging mini games to unlock extra lives and coins. Or you can join teams with other players to unlock even more rewards. But most importantly, things explode a lot. And that's my favorite part. I love exploding all over the place. If you wanna check them out, you can use the link in my description or scan my QR code to get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. Thank you to Tomb Blast for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. The way Andy teaches sales kind of reminds me of the alpha boot camp that I just made a video about. He'll tell people to come up and do push-ups if they answer a question wrong or even just in a way he doesn't like. All right, get that fucking weak ass up here. Let's do 20 push-ups, come on, come on. He talks about kidnapping and torturing people way more than the normal amount, the normal amount being none. Number one, your script. I should be able to pull you up in the middle of the room, flip you upside down, pour mm. water on you, waterboard your ass, slap you in the face, and say, say it. ABCs, happy birthday, date of birth, what's your name? Whatever I ask me, you should be able to tell me. You need to know your name, your birthday, your ABCs, and if you don't, I'm gonna torture you. Very good. And what does W stand for? I don't know. Waterboarding. When he's not threatening to torture or kill their families, Andy likes to body shame the people who attend his seminars. Garrett, take your shirt off. Come on, Garrett. Take your shirt off, Garrett. Bringing a volunteer on stage for anything is awkward enough, but then asking them to take their clothes off? Imagine attending a sales seminar and then being asked to strip in front of Mr. Clean. I may only kill 99.9% .9 of germs, but I kill 100% of my deals. Now get up here and show me your balls. He actually takes it a step further and touches this guy on the waist while asking if it bothers him. Does this bother you? Yes, sir. Okay, doesn't bother you enough. But the only thing that bothers me, Andy, is the way you're freaking chomping on that gum. Okay, doesn't bother you enough. If it did, I you agree. wouldn't have it. Am I right? You're chewing with your mouth open and you're talking into a mic. That's like seeing you're on the jumbotron and then beginning to pick your nose. Andy's weird obsession with people's physical appearances doesn't stop with the people attending his seminar though. He actually has the same expectations for the people he employs. I'm gonna tell you this, my entire company, my entire team, if you don't have a six pack, you don't work for us. No, I know, I know. 
It's called, everybody say standard. It's called having standards, guys, and not a huge HR violation. How does that help you sell anything? In what situation is someone gonna see your stomach during a sales pitch? This is one of our new fiberglass models. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's just what you need. I don't know, I can barely afford the funeral expenses as is. Plus my car just broke down. How about now? Oh my God, I'm... <laughs> Still broke. I can't. I can't buy Come on, it. Come but I'm so sexy. He always excuses his weird physical criteria for people as being standards, and if you don't meet them, you're just a freaking loser. It's called, everybody say standard. How about we raise him? How about we raise him? How about we raise him? So he's either really into abs or he's really into dried grapes. How about we raise him? How about we raise him, guys? Guys, why don't we raise him? We should be raising. This clip isn't even the only example of him making someone take their shirt off on stage. This is a recurring thing. I know you see the word solar on my shirt. I don't see solar up on your roof, dude. It's up until now what's been holding you back from pulling that trigger. He made this guy come on stage, take off 50% of his clothing, and then asked him to pitch solar panels. This is kind of what I hear him doing today. This is kinda why I'm here. I get that the whole point of the seminar is to get feedback and become better at pitching, but do you have to write his mistakes on the board? Do you have to get the whole room to laugh at him? But don't worry guys, it's not degrading. In everything that I'm saying to you right now, I'm not tearing you down, I'm not degrading you, I'm not insulting you. He can make $500,000 if he wants to. So glad we cleared that up. I'm not insulting you, dude. Even though what you just said was dumb as fuck. It's almost like he needs to prove how much better at sales he is than any of the people he brings up on stage. So he has to make them take their clothes off or do something embarrassing so that they don't pitch well. It's like cheating. You ready to play baseball to see which one of us is better at baseball? Oh boy, am I. Okay, but you can't have a bat though. Okay. Or a ball. That makes sense. I win. Man, you're really good at this. So he wants everyone's nips out, which is already weird, but he also can't stop talking about slamming people into walls. He's broke. Am I right? He needs to put his back against the wall. You guys need to put your back against the wall. They're trying to play it safe, and I am literally pounding their ass in the ground. Oh, Andy, I think you're at the wrong conference. The sexual euphemism seminar is down the hall, okay? in room 69. With all of these rants going on, I'm not really sure when he has time to teach sales. He mostly talks about how you'll be instantly better at sales if you just look better. Let me ask you, if you lean down and you let all that muscle come through, dude, you'd be <laughs> twice as good looking. You'd be making twice the money. Maybe some of you in here didn't know that being better looking would make you more money. Which is egotistical when you think about it because he claims to be the world's best salesman. So it's basically him saying, how do you make more money? Just be sexy, like me. Have you tried being a suave womanizer who wears shoes like a court jester? You don't even have bells on your toes? <laughs> I'm out of here. Their website says that Andy personally guarantees the seminar will improve your life and easily triple your income. And yeah, if I took my shirt off, I could probably triple my income too. I'm just kidding, that's not happening. Unless. I'm just kidding. But even when he's not going on rants, his sales advice still isn't that great. Okay, you ready? 30 seconds, close the room on buying insurance. Ready? Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you got a family? Do you got a family? Do you got a family? You got a family. Hey, let me ask you a question. Five times. I am going to ask you the same question five fucking times. You got a family? A lot of his techniques don't even seem like techniques. They just seem like guilt tripping. Do you want on the worst day of their life when you're gone for your family to be protected? Yes or no? Okay, it's black and white. If you do, we need to get make sure they have life insurance. If you don't, it's not important. Would you agree? Let me ask you a question. Do you love and care about your family and want to keep them safe? Or do you hate them and hope they die, AKA, don't wanna buy my solar panels. There is no in-between. It's black and white, this or that. What happens when he tries this approach on someone who doesn't have a family? You have a family? You have a family? You have a family? You got a family? You got a family? Well, I did. Do you have a family? You got a family? Find the courage to say yes, regardless of what it costs. And you went home and you said, hey, baby girl, didn't matter what it cost, you're number one to me. And to prove that, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the kitchen remodel because you're number one in my life. You think she'd have a problem with that? Yes, Andy. I think she might have a problem with that. You know what would make your wife super happy? <laughs> Spending thousands of dollars without telling her. She might even slam you into the wall and pound your ass. Again. He even admits at some point that he never really knows what he's talking about. Do you need to know how solar works or do you need to know how to sell it? 
sell it. Dude, I broke the record in the United States for selling cars when I was young. I didn't know anything about f***ing cars. I don't give a f how it works. What does solar do? Yeah, who gives a f how it works? I don't know. The potential customer might care how it works. The overall message seems to be, it doesn't matter what you say or what you know, as long as you say it confidently. And I thought this was a seminar for salespeople, not politicians. <laughs> You know Andy creates unnecessary hypotheticals and makes people super uncomfortable on stage, but at least he's open to criticism. By the way, if I say something that offends any of you, it's because you're f***ing ego. You can die with that f***ing ego, you can die f***ing broke. Okay, whoever's not with him, go f*** yourself. We don't need you. Man, I'm sorry guys. I was about to say that it's possible to be a salesman and teach people how to pitch products without weird power trips or humiliating them based on their appearance, but I just realized that's my ego talking. Also, I'm poor and should probably die. And you can die and I think this is all just a result of telling someone like this that they're the best at something too many times. It's kind of like Pinocchio, Father. but instead of lying every time someone compliments him, his pants get a little bit tighter. To me, it seems like he gets off on the idea that he's better at sales than everyone in the room, which, yeah. That's why they're there. You can't rub your knowledge of something in the faces of people who are paying you to share it with them. You'd never see any other kind of teacher doing that. Can anyone answer this one for me? No? Josie? Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> See, this is why you're all broke. We don't know how to solve that problem yet. You know what else you don't know how to solve yet? Being short. What? None of you have jobs, and I bet most of you still live with your parents. We're in kindergarten. I know how to solve this because I'm not a dumb little kid like you. That's why you're the teacher. Everyone point. Point and laugh at Josie. Do it. I can't even... I can't even count to five. Hey guys, look. Guys, look, this is Josie. <laughs> What an idiot. I'm so much smarter than you. I'm gonna call it there, guys. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here. And I'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out Tomb Blast by scanning the QR code or clicking the link in the description for three hours of unlimited lives and a hundred free coins. Okay, thank you, love you, bye.